The question is asking for the probability of obtaining two heads and two tails when a coin is tossed four times. So I'm going to start by listing the total outcomes. Because we're going to roll the dice four times, we're going to draw four columns. So we have column one, column two for the second roll, column three for the third roll, and column four for the fourth roll. And when we flip a coin, there's going to be two outcomes, heads or tails. So we're going to write H and T in each column. And then we're going to pair heads and heads in the second flip and the first flip. And the heads and tails. And then we're going to repeat this process for the tail in the first flip. So we have 2 times 2. And then we're going to repeat the whole process again for the heads in the third flip and the tails in the third flip. So we multiply 2 again. And then finally we will repeat the whole process. Again, for the heads in the fourth flip and the tail in the fourth flip. So we multiply two again and we get 16 total outcomes. So we can write 16 in the denominator of the fraction. And now we're going to find the number of successful outcomes that contain two heads and two tails. So we can write co the combinations. Heads, heads, tails, tails, and then heads, tails, tails, heads, and then heads, tails, heads, tails, and then tails, tails, heads, heads, and then we have tails, heads, tails, heads, and then we have tails, heads, heads, tails. So if we count all the combinations, we get six that are successful. And then from the previous slide, we get 16 total outcomes. And then if we simplify six over 16, we get three eight, And that's going to be our answer. I hope you understood my explanation, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.